Hello, good morning. This is your Daily Outlook for Wednesday the 14th of March. The euro recorded losses against most of its major counterparts as German zoo surveys came out somewhat mixed. The current situation index was below expectations while the economic sentiment release came out stronger. Spain was the main subject of the Eurogroup meeting where Eurozone's finance ministers tried to lessen the significance of Spain's change in its 2012 budget deficit target. Juncker commented that the most significant thing is that Spain agreed to remain committed to its 3% deficit target for 2013. Against the US dollar, the single currency dived to 130.78 from 131.68. Versus the British pound, the euro plummeted, falling to 0.8328 from 0.8413. The single currency came to life against the Swiss franc, jumping to 120.80 from 120.54 after remaining in a very narrow band for a number of days. The US dollar produced mixed results as the FOMC upgraded assessments of the US labour market. The FOMC forecasted moderate economic growth in the long term, improved from modest expectations previously. The Federal Bank also recognised that strains in global financial markets have eased. Even though the 2014 low rate prediction was affirmed, no further quantitative easing hints were made. Against the Japanese yen, the greenback rose to 82.95 from 82.36. Versus the Swiss franc, the US dollar advanced to 0.9236 from 0.9154. Federal Reserve Chairman Bernanke will be talking about community banking at a convention one day after FOMC statements and investors will closely monitor it for any hint of future policy. Looking at commodities, we saw oil prices rose to $106.50 from $106.26 a barrel. Gold dived to $1,675.90 from $1,699.99 an ounce. Against the euro, gold dropped to €1,279.34 from €1,293.31. Silver dropped to $33.34 from $33.64 an ounce. Let's take a look at what the currencies are doing this morning. The euro dollar pivot points at 131 with a preference to enter into short positions at 130.90. The dollar yen pivot point is at 82.60 with a preference to enter into long positions at 82.60. The Aussie dollar pivot point is at 105.65 with a preference to enter into short positions at 105.65. The sterling dollar pivot point is at 157.10 with a preference to enter into short positions at 157. The dollar cab pivot point is at 0.9925 with a preference to enter into short positions at 0.9925. Looking at commodities, the oil pivot point is at 107.35 with a preference to enter into short positions at 107.35. The gold pivot point is at 1.685 with a preference to enter into short positions at 1.685. And the silver pivot point is at 30.95 with a preference to enter into long positions at 30.95. And of course, for more up-to-date information, please visit us at easy-forex.com. On the calendar, the market movers are the UK claimant count for February forecast to come out at 6,000, UK unemployment rate for January forecast to remain at 8.4%, EU inflation X food and energy month on month for February forecast to rise by 0.4%, and the US crude oil inventories forecast to come out at 2.2 million. Now on to equities, in Europe the FTSE was up 1.07%, the DAX was up 1.37% and the CAC was up 1.72%. In in the US, the SP500 was up 1.81% and the Dow was up 1.68%. In Asia at the time of writing, the Nikkei was up 1.53% and the Hang Seng was down 0.06%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Anjo from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.